Yeah, some people want to know uh, how the Gracie Jiu Jitsu got to America. I show the friends, you know, show the look, this is the letter from Come to America. Look at this, man. I'm invited to go to America, you know? The Vietnam War was still going on. They keep telling me, look, they're going to put you in a plane and ship you to the Vietnam to go to the war, you know? You people will never come back again, you know? I was so enthusiastic about coming to this country, and I decided, uh, whatever it takes, I am going. This happened actually when I was in Brazil, when two American Marines walked into my academy. And one of them have a, a very damaged face. And I asked him what's happened. And he told me the story of um, going to a Taekwondo school and the Korean guy punched him to show off to his students. So then he went to the American consulate in Rio where he was working as security with nine other American Marines. And one of the lady told them, if you want to learn martial art in Rio, it's better you look for the Gracie family. They are the best martial art in the country. So after that, I started to train the American Marines. They invite others to come. And eventually, I start to teach on, in their homes. They make a big ring in there, I start to teach in their homes in the city of Santa Teresa near the, cons the American consulate. So they become very well prepared. Six months later, it was a major tournament in Brazil. And they participate in the tournament. So they went to the tournament, did very well. You know, a, one of them became even vice champion. The Brazilian people started to look at me with ugly faces, you know, like I shouldn't train so well the American Marines to beat the Brazilians. The Marine Corps find out, and every Marine that comes from Rio to the consulate they're very powerful in, in martial art. They overpower everybody that comes from different countries. And the American Marines said, look, it's better uh, you come to America, you know, because uh, knowing you for so long, you will know you're born here, but you think like we do, so you should come to America, you know? And the Marines sent me a letter invited me to come to America. And I was so enthusiastic about the letter, I show a lot of people, this is the letter from come to America. Look at this, man, I'm invited to go to America. You know, talking a few weeks with them, but I forgot to answer the letter. And eventually, a month and a half later, two American Marines walk into the academy with a uniform from the consulate. I thought I was going to be arrested. I don't know what was going on. And they said, look, we want to make sure that you received that letter because you didn't answer us. We are waiting for your answer. So they come officially and hand me the letter from the consulate to make sure I received that letter to come to America. Six months later, I was here in America teaching Jiu Jitsu. This was the very beginning of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in America. My name is Carly Gracie. I am the pioneer of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in the United States of America, and this is my journey.